<laughs> What's up everybody? Michael here. Welcome back to another video today I'm gonna to share with you seven ways to make money on YouTube Most people think of Google Adsense and affiliate marketing when it comes to making money on YouTube But for many youtubers that makes up just a small portion of how much money they make So I'm gonna share with you different things you could do on your YouTube channel to maximize how much money you're making from YouTube All right guys, let's get into it So guys, if you're new to this channel, my name is Mike Rubel. I do a lot of videos on personal finance, investing, and how to make money in general. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications if you'd like to learn fun and creative ways to make money and how to invest. The first way to make money on YouTube is with Google AdSense. And this is what we all know, we all have heard about. And the basic requirements for this is that you need to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours watched on your channel. Without these basic requirements, you cannot have Google AdSense for your channel. What Google AdSense does is essentially they put ads and commercials in your video. And if your video is under 10 minutes long, you could put ads at the beginning and the end of your video. But if your video is over 10 minutes long, you can maximize how much you're making and put ads throughout the video. So you can put it in the beginning, middle, and end. But remember, you do not want to include too many ads because it ruins the experience for your subscribers. You want to make sure that you stay true to your subscribers, you produce content that they like, and you don't want to interrupt that too much with ads. But if you place them strategically, you can make more money if your videos are over 10 minutes long. Number two is affiliate links. What affiliate links are is when YouTubers place links in the description of their video that connect you to other sites. For example, a very common thing that many YouTubers do is use Amazon affiliate links. Essentially, if they use a product or a service in their video that is sold on Amazon, they put the link to Amazon in their description. That way, if you click on that link, let's say for lighting that is used, if you click on that link for lighting, it brings you to Amazon. You see the exact product that they were speaking about or that they use. If you buy that, they get a small percentage of every time someone buys that product. You don't have to mention it in your videos. And if people simply look at the description, see what product or service you have listed next to it, for example, lighting or a camera, then once they click on it, you make money and you didn't really have to do anything. Number three is referral codes. And with referral codes, that's another easy way that you can add to your income from YouTube. Essentially, what they are is that when you invite a friend to an app, you and the person you invite each get a special promotion, a special deal. For example, on Webull, if you use the link in my description or anyone's invite code, you each get two free stocks. So if you download Webull, you get two free stocks, and then I also get two free stocks. So it's a win-win situation. Another example of this is with Uber. If you invite a friend to Uber who doesn't have it already, they get $5 credited to their account, and you get $5 credited to your account. So with referral codes, it's not a direct source of income. For example, they're not going to send you checks every month, but you'll get bonuses and special gifts on these different apps. Number four is to create a second channel. Many YouTubers, once they start to gain traction, gain a lot of subscribers on their main channel, will create a second channel. Why? Well, they'll create the second channel because maybe they want to post a different type of content on their main channel from their secondary channel. For example, you could post more professional content maybe three times a week on your main channel and more casual laid back topics uh, related to vlogs or really anything you want to talk about on your secondary channel and that can be posted every single day. So by doing that, you'll be able to maximize your income because your subscribers from your main channel will probably also want to watch your videos on your second channel and then you'll be able to get Google AdSense and make income from both of your channels. Number five is to create merch. You've heard of it, I've heard of it, everyone who's on YouTube has heard of merch because many successful YouTubers create their own merch lines and it could be their name, their brand, a name of their channel, it could be anything they want it to be. And by creating merch, it is an easy way to make additional income and many YouTubers make more income from their merch lines than they do from Google AdSense and ads alone because it is so simple to do. You could create designs on the internet and connect that to a Shopify account and once you start selling merch, you don't have to do anything because it can be sent out automatically. Some people promote their merch lines in their YouTube channels, in their videos, and other people just include links to it in the description. But either way, creating merch is a great way to supplement your income from YouTube, Google AdSense, and it's a good way to keep growing your channel and growing your income streams. Number six is to create a program or a course. 
Many YouTubers who talk about an educational topic, whether that be marketing, photography, investing, finance, anything educational, they create a course and sell it on an external website. All they do is sometimes they mention the course in their videos, a lot of the time they don't, and they always include the link to their course in the description of their videos. Well, why is this good for making money on YouTube? Well, you simply create the course once, put in the time once to build it out, to make it and put it on another website. Once it's built out, you don't have to do anything else in the future. You simply have the link to your course in the description and people who like you and like watching your videos, they'll eventually find it. And once they find it, they might buy your course and it's an easy way to make money because you can charge as much as you want for this course and it's not just based on Google AdWords or how many people watch your video because people who actually like your content will find value in these videos as well. Number seven is advertise for other companies. The way this works is companies will pay you to have a 30 second clip where you talk about their product or service in your video. A lot of the times they reach out to you when you get to be big enough and have enough subscribers. They'll reach out to you and want you to talk about their product or services for you. This is a great way to make money because they'll pay five, 10, $20,000 for a 30 second, 60 second clip in your video and you just have to mention their products and you know, say the video is sponsored by that company. So that's another great way to make money, but you gotta remember that some companies at the beginning, they won't be so reputable and they'll reach out to you to try and have you talk about their product or service. So make sure you're selective on which companies you talk about because you don't wanna refer your subscribers to a company that isn't legitimate, that isn't good because then it could hurt your brand damage and hurt your channel over time. People start to realize how much money they can make on YouTube when they hit that 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, because then that is when they could use Google AdSense and place commercials and ads in their videos. But what people don't realize is that there are plenty of other ways that you can make money on YouTube before you hit that, those goals, before you hit that 1,000 subscribers and before you hit that 4,000 watch hours, because with any of the seven ways I spoke about other than Google AdSense, so any of the six other ways, you can make money if you're only getting 20 views, 50, 100 views. It doesn't matter because if you use a referral code, for example, in your link in the description, if someone signs up for that app, you can still make money. It's not as easy, not as seamless as using Google AdSense where they place commercials, but there are plenty of other ways that you can still make money on YouTube without using Google AdSense. So by looking at the seven ways that we spoke about in today's video, whether you're at 50 subscribers, 100 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers, anyone can still add additional source of income to their YouTube channel. And I'm sure that anyone watching this can find some value in it and figure out some other way that they can increase their revenue from YouTube as well. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found some value in it. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please like the video down below and subscribe to my channel. I post a minimum of three times a week on this channel. If you'd like one free stock, use my link to download Robinhood down below. If you'd like two free stocks, and these can be valued up to $1,400 each, download Webull using the link below. And if you'd like $5 in an investing account, download Acorns Investing using the link down below. Anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time.